Well, a story that put Baltimore in the middle of an international scandal is once again being told. As Mike Shu reports, by the time it was over, America was getting closer into a world war, and one local man made millions. A hundred years ago, our president vowed to keep us out of World War I. The Allies blockaded German ships on both sides of the Atlantic. Soon, Germany was in trouble. Meantime, on Charles Street, in a building that still exists, the offices of a German shipping line and a businessman, Paul Hilkin, who was about to make millions thanks to this German submarine. Because of the blockade, it was built by that shipping company with offices in Baltimore to carry cargo. It did not have guns or torpedoes. They needed to avoid the British blockade. And to do that? It had to dive. Go right under them. It had to go under. What was so important to take such risk? Dye. Synthetic dyes for clothing. The world's only supplier in Germany. Enter Paul Hilkin, who cut a deal to get the sub to come to Baltimore. Its arrival seen here in rare footage. They, in fact, couldn't be stopped. They're the, the Deutschland is the first vessel to evade the British blockade. In its hold, tons of synthetic dye. Now you know why Paul Hilkin is smiling. It's all his. He then establishes an American monopoly. He jacks the price and pockets $132 million in today's money. While the Allies were furious, with 90,000 Germans and a German newspaper here, the sub was celebrated. Its captain and crew taken to the best restaurants, like the one in the Belvedere Hotel. The Deutschland sails back home, filled with nickel and rubber, crucial to keep the war going. A hundred year old Baltimore connection now on display downtown. The depth of our collection and the range of the stories we tell is so broad mm -hmm. that we can still surprise people. Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News. Within seven months of that visit, American joined World War I. That businessman left for Connecticut and was later accused of plotting German sabotage on the East Coast. All very fascinating.